most accurate forecast. Four zone weather. They're confused. I, didn't. <laughs> I know exactly what <laughs> we were talking about. Jail manicures? No, gel. Gel. G E L. Oh. Gel. I know. gel. Albert? Yes. Are you kidding? Are you seeing these things? <laughs> yeah. No. Let me show you what's going on. We're running out of time. We're running out of Fiesta. We have lots of medals. This is Taco Cabana's medal. Fiesta Texas has a Batman ride and it has its own medal. How about that? Uh, San Antonio Emergency Nurses Association have a medal. The Alzheimer's Association that does wonderful work in the city has an absolute gorgeous medal. The Acosta family, good friends of mine, they own more than a few McDonald's in the area and they have their own medal and thanks for everything they do for the community. Pre-K for SA, do you believe they have a medal? And Team Ability, another nonprofit that works with kids with challenges and they do an awesome, awesome job. Oh, how can I get in the way of the Saint San Antonio Chamber of Commerce medal? It is huge. Thank you guys for sending us that one. Subtropical jet stream bringing lots of moisture right over the top of us. Polar jet, of course, to the north, keeping them cold. But this is going to add fuel to the storms that will come in late tonight, tomorrow. You can see on the surface, here comes the Gulf of Mexico. You step outside, ugh, you can feel it hanging in the air. The jet stream pulls the stuff across and gives it the energy it needs to make it from the mountains of Mexico into central Texas. And that's exactly what it's doing tonight. You can see some pretty massive thunderstorms. If you're in Del Rio, look west and you'll see the lightning coming off of these storms. So the computer pulls that one across south of San Antonio, pulls it through and gone. Friday looks pretty good most of the day, but watch Friday evening, which is a pretty big time for a lot of things to happen. A big line of thunderstorms comes through, a second pop early Saturday morning, and then we're done. Then you've got the sun and clouds, but not much rain over the weekend. Went up seven-tenths of a foot, according to the Ansira GMC storm tracker. Of course, the mold count goes up because it's raining. 40%, 50%, it kind of really varies on what zone you're in. This is tomorrow. For us tonight, I reduced the chance of rain, but I kept it around because I'm seeing those storms popping up to the west. Tomorrow, these are late-day showers, 85 degrees. 50-50 chance, so that 50 becomes a 20, then becomes a 30. So as we wrap up Fiesta, the chances of rain are smaller. And then we really get into the sunshine. Wouldn't you know it, once we get out of Fiesta, we cool down because we get a front that comes through the area and daytime highs actually respond to it. So here you go, not a bad looking seven day forecast. For a lot of us, it's gonna be nice and pleasant. And it's all online at news4sa.com.